Checking our website now for the most dramatic interview of the day and perhaps the most dramatic videotape, too. An investigative journalist out of San Diego uh, viciously attacked while trying to uh, get a story there. Uh, we show you some of the clips now. Here's the whole story from XETV reporter John Mattis in San Diego. Watch. Call the police. The attacker is Sam Suleiman, the key subject of a series of reports by Fox 6 investigative journalist John Mattis, who now finds himself in a fight for his life. You guys be, are trying to do to my life. You're invading my life. Whether you heard this whole f***ing thing, this is injustice. That's all you're doing. That is Suleiman's wife, Rosa, who immediately blames the media for her troubles. But the evidence appears to speak Stop, otherwise. Continue. In an investigative series aired on Fox 6 in late July, John Mattis uncovered an elaborate scam allegedly carried out by Sam Suleiman in which he stole identities to buy property and then rent to others. It was a white-collar crime, but apparently carried out by a man with a rough-neck temper. And Suleiman left several messages with John, colored with foul language and threats. I haven't forgotten about you. I think about you every John is just off camera here, playing the messages for Brian Phillips, who is about to share his own story of a violent run-in with Suleiman when suddenly Rosa arrives on what? scene. You didn't have enough with what you were? Stop the f camera right f now. Do oh, yes, I will. No, don't batter him. Please. Why are you doing this? We're you didn't have story. enough with we're what you were? While emptying her water bottle, Rosa accuses John of invading her life. Her shouting continues for about a minute when John asks her about the allegations of violence. Why do you have to batter people? Weed? Why do I have to batter people? That's not appropriate. I don't give a you Stop your behavior. Do you like Tijuana or Ensenada? What? Which one do you like better, huh? Man. I'm going to put you in the other side Man, of the country. That is really pathetic. I don't care. Stop this. That's Stop pathetic. this right now. Have a nice you day. No, f*** you. Have a nice day. Have a nice day, nice, nice, my Thank you. Bye-bye. Son of a b Photojournalist Dennis Waldrop, who has been recording the entire scene, follows Rosa, and she lashes out again. Stop it! Break the f***ing camera. Now, with at least two acts of physical assault recorded, Rosa's husband, Sam Suleiman, arrives and goes on the attack. He's not going to stop. Call the police. The injuries inflicted by Suleiman would become quickly apparent, but Phillips and Waldrop come to John's aid and are able to hold Suleiman down. Well, Rosa says she's getting a gun. She returns without one, but threatens to use what appears to be a rock until she is stopped by a bystander. Six minutes after Sam Suleiman's initial attack, police arrive. Get up in front of you! Officer, he's been over. Back up! Is this him? This is him. Turn around! Turn around! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! John Mattis, the reporter. John Mattis on the phone. John, can you hear me? Yes, I can. How you doing? Uh, I had better days. Yeah. How's the side of your face? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, it looks like a train drove over it. Wow. Uh, reality television in its most severe form there. What are charges against Sam Solomon and the woman we watched? Well, the charges that were filed yesterday were merely battery charges, assault with a weapon, et cetera, et cetera. We've been investigating him for a series of months for a number of real estate scams where he was buying property under other people's names and running them and collecting rents with, from them. So uh, there is an ongoing criminal investigation of what he's been doing. So that investigation will entail, I'd assume, the videotape we're watching now here live. Have police looked for that yet? Uh, yes, police have looked at that. And this... This came on the heels of a discussion with the district attorney's office that, in fact, he was becoming dangerous. We were out yesterday doing a story on how dangerous he was. Little did we know that he was going to show up and ambush us. Yeah, you mentioned Sam. Did you mention also whether or not the woman seen here in the videotape faces charges? At one time, it uh, takes the water bottle and strikes you across the, the left yeah, side of your face. Yeah, she was charged I mean, that also again. with battery. Uh, she took the water bottle and smashed me in the face and attempted to go and run and get a gun. She couldn't find the gun, but she was going to get a gun and use it. Well, you, I'm sure you had no expectation for that to break out when you showed up uh, that place. No, and yeah. both of these people are at the center of a massive criminal investigation regarding real estate fraud.
You say massive. In what sense? Uh, how many more people could be implicated, you believe? Well, certainly we have uncovered at least 20 different properties that they've allegedly bought under other people's names and uh, ran those properties, rent them, rent them out, and didn't put a cent into them. Yeah, not over yet. you have any stitches, John? Uh, no, a lot of bruises, yeah. cracked ribs, uh, some bites and gashes uh, in my eye where he attempted to gouge my eyes out. Thank you, John. Dramatic stuff out of San Diego. John Mattis on the telephone there, and the videotape caught our eye earlier today. Right now, in fact, it's streaming to our website at foxnews.com, and you can see all that report that we just aired there. And a bit more information, too, on John Mattis and what his team is working on out there in San Diego. So, video of the day, without question. Want to go to North Carolina right now?